Hi, I'm Mark Summers, and this is What Would You Do? <laughs> Thanks a lot. This is the show that picks everyday people like you and puts them in pretty incredible situations just to ask that important question, what would you do? Now, you folks have watched the show. You've seen the pie pod where you can get hit with four pies at once. Or perhaps you've seen our pie slide where you can dive into an eight-foot gigantic pie. We even have pie roulette. But you know what, folks? We've got a new pie device today, and you're going to see in just a bit. But right now, I like to find somebody who can laugh. Anybody like to laugh a lot? Who loves to laugh? Let me see. Uh, you like to laugh, do you really? Who else likes to laugh? Like, over here? Hi, come over here and say, say hi to me just for a second. What's your name? Dawn. And Dawn, what makes you laugh? Um, jokes. <laughs> jokes make you laugh. Now, are your mom and dad here? Um, no, I'm here with my two aunts. With your two aunts. I need somebody who's here with their mom and dad. Anybody here with their mom and dad? We'll come back to you just a little bit later. You're here with your mom and dad? Stand up. What makes you laugh? Um, my brother. What, why does he make you laugh? Um, because some of the things he does, like, he, he trips sometimes and... Yeah, that's pretty funny stuff, huh? Where's your mom and dad? Over there. Over there. You're not even sitting together, are you? Where's your mom and dad? Come on over here, mom and dad. Right down here. And, uh, and you come over here. And let's give her a round of applause as we come down over here. Come on. Right over here. And if I could have you stand over on this side. And, sir, if I could have you stand right over here on this side. Now, I need you to face your husband, all right? Now, how long have you been married? About 18 years. 18 years. So you know a lot about each other, right? A little bit. Yeah. Is your wife ticklish? Yeah. yeah. Is your husband ticklish? Yes. He is. Oh, good. You know what? We're going to have a little tickle contest here. <laughs> and they're going to tickle each other, but we, we're going to have a prize for the person who laughs the first. Okay, can we do that? Yes. Would you like to see what that prize is? Yes. Robin, bring out that prize. It's right over here. Oh, look, it's a pie. <laughs> oh, good. So why don't you take that pie and just hold it in your hand, okay? And here's what's going to happen. Just lower it just a little bit right now. Now, you start off, put your hands behind your back. I'm sorry? What kind is it? Oh, does it make a difference, really? <laughs> I wish I would have known. Why, what's your favorite? Whipped cream. Wait, oh, good. Well, that's it. You could get this and just put your hands behind your back. And if you could put your hands behind your back, when I say go, you both start tickling each other. And whoever laughs first, I'll say stop. You laugh first, or you laugh first, and then you get to just plant that pie right in their face, okay? <laughs> okay? You're not smiling. Let's, uh... All right. On your mark. Get set. Go. Start tickling. Come on, tickle it. Come on. Oh, going for the lift. Look at this. Grown people on national TV. Let me see. Going for the lift. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You can stop right there. I believe that you laughed there just a teeny bit. Don't, don't you agree that she laughed a little bit? A little bit. Just a little bit there. So, uh... uh be gentle, but I'm sorry. Oh, you're gonna take the. This is not realistic. Welcome to TV. Uh, yeah, this, this is Nickelodeon. I'm sorry. Okay, well, <laughs> on the count of three, audience. One, two, three. <laughs> Don't go away, cause we have a lot more fun coming up right here. On what would you do? What, 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 what would you? What, what, what would you do? What'd you say? Sorry. Oh, sorry. You are a good sport, I must say. And because you're such a good sport, what's your name, sir? Rick. Rick, why don't you give your wife a great big kiss right now? Go ahead, Rick. Go ahead and do that. Yeah. Oh, very nice. Thank you very much. How about a round of applause for the family? You go over there and get cleaned up with Robin, and you folks can go have your seat over there. That was fun. Oh, fun way to start the show. Would you like to do that next? No. Oh, okay. I just... Wondered about that. Um, I need somebody else to help me out right now. Somebody who's good, has good hearing. Maybe they can hear really, really well. Let me see. I need some hands. This young lady over here, what is your name? Courtney. Courtney, come down here with me, if you would, please. Give Car Courtney a round of applause, okay? <laughs> now, Courtney, where are you from? Indiana. Where in Indiana? Um, Carmel. Carmel. My parents live in Carmel, Indiana. That is really strange. I grew up there. Where'd you go to high school? Talk amongst yourselves. We'll just, uh, you're, you're probably not in high school yet. You're in what grade? 
Sixth grade. Sixth grade. Oh, boy, you're a mature young lady. Uh, what would you do if I asked you to identify some sounds for me? Would you do that for me? Yeah. Okay, now, I don't want you to see what the objects are, so I have a blindfold in my pocket. If you could put that blindfold on, and as you're doing that, Robin, could you wheel out what the uh, various sounds might be? No? You can't see it all, right? How many fingers am I holding up? I have no idea. Oh, good, okay. <laughs> Bit of an attitude on that, Courtney, okay? It's a... Uh, uh, okay, now I have some sounds here, and you tell me what you think they are. Ready? A bell. A bell. Very good. How about this now? A horn. A horn. Okay, and now what do you think this sound is? Crown. <laughs> uh, in case you missed it, let me do it one more time for you. <laughs> what do you think that is, Courtney? Somebody has to say excuse me. Somebody has to say... All right, now, now, now take off your blindfold because these are whoopee cushions, okay? Now, wh why do you think people laugh at those things? What's so funny about that? Okay, uh, this brings up an interesting question. What would you do if you went to buy something in a shoe store and the salesman kept making a noise sort of like that, all right? I mean, I have a question about this. So I want to ask the audience, if you think when you heard this, you would say something to the man like, excuse me, or something like that, Press the number one right now. Let's vote on it. If you're going to ignore it, you can change your votes now. Press the number one. But if you are going to say something and say, boy, uh, mister, would you mind going in the other room or, uh, you know, taking a bicarbonate or something, press the number two. So one, if you're going to ignore it, two, if you're going to say something, what would you do, Courtney, if uh, you were in that situation? Walk out. i walk away. You'd walk away. Okay, well, let's see what our audience says. Our audience says that we have... 63% of the people say that, uh, yes, they would ignore the noise, and 37% uh, of the people in our audience said they indeed would say something. Well, in order to see what people would do, we rigged up a special sound effects device. We stuck it in the jacket of a particular shoe salesman, and uh, take a look. Okay, I'll be right back. <laughs> I'm just gonna check this one size here. I'll be right back, okay? Now, the kid's laughing so hard, he's popped his belt. But at least he can keep a sense of humor about it, because like it or not, there's plenty more where that came from. Can I take off that shoe now? Okay, just a sec. <laughs> Let's try it one more time. Those kids got a real kick out of our salesman. Let's see if the next kid thinks he's such a gas. Just lacing these for a second. I have to check this other shoe out. Just a sec. I'll be right back. Is it just me, or is there a draft in here? <laughs> okay, why don't you try this one? Slip that one on. I'll be, I'll be right back. This kid has his very own way of dealing with the situation. <gasps> what? And our Sonic Salesman's very last customers for the day were a couple of kids who just wanted to buy some shoes, but wound up being blown away. Go ahead and try these on, okay? Okay, uh, I need to go get another pair of shoes. Just a second, okay? Okay, just a second. <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> okay, let me get the shoehorn just a second. Oh, no. oh, oh. I wish I got a new salesman. <laughs> a new person to, like, get the shoes. Why? Because. He seems very polite. Oh, no, he's polite, but one thing. <laughs> Uh, I'll tell you what it is. Forget about the shoes, but sleeve.
Stick around because when we come back, we'll give our audience a chance to really kick up their heels. Plus, we're going to place a lucky person into our new Pi device, so stay around. You won't want to miss it. you do here on Nickelodeon and we talked earlier and you said your mom or dad wasn't here but who are you here with my two aunts okay do you have one aunt that you would really like to have fun with down here on stage yes well, which one is it my aunt, Lisa. aunt Lisa oh good you and Aunt Lisa go stand right over there in that center part over there and I need uh, two other people now um, stand up sir I guess you lost the bet huh what um, where did you get these uh, Catalog store. <laughs> Catalog store, huh? I see. And you're real proud to wear them, aren't you? Huh? Certainly yeah. am. Are you here with the son or daughter? I'm here with my daughter. Your daughter. What's your name? Kim. Kim. And your name, sir, is? Bob. Bob. Go down there and join those folks over there. And uh, let me see what I can do over here. Um, sir, hi. Yeah, both of you. Come over here for a second. You look uh, scared, actually, is what you look like. But uh, come on over here. Yeah, sure. You look like a terrific guy. What is your name, sir? Oh, you all right? Yeah, Akira. What is it? Akira. Akira, where are you from? Uh, Virginia. Yeah, and what do you do for a living? I don't know. Go to school probably, right? I uh, guess. Yeah. yeah, what's your name, sir? Uh, Takao. Takao, and what kind of work do you do, sir? Uh, government. Government. Oh, I definitely want you to come down here then. Come on, all of you, both of you. Come on. Great. Right over here, sir. Right over here would be fine. I could tell you work for the government because you walk kind of slow coming down here. So there you go. All right. Now, you're probably saying, why am I here? And I would love to show you why you're here. It's my pleasure to introduce the What Would You Do dancers, Doug and Elaine. Here they come. <laughs> terrific. Doug and Elaine, they do such a great job. Doesn't that look like fun? Uh, I guess so. Yeah, and I think you'd look great with one of those hats on, don't you? No. Oh. <laughs> well, what would you do if I told you that I'm going to send you backstage, give you similar costumes, and you're going to come back and perform that same dance in front of this entire audience? Huh. You don't know? You'll know in a few minutes. Follow Robin right over there, all of you, right over there. Well, folks, we have talked about the Pie Pod, the Pie Slide. We've talked about all sorts of interesting devices, but I would like to introduce you now to our newest device to get a pie. Ladies and gentlemen, please, the Pie Pendulum. I would love to demonstrate how this works, and the way I'm going to do that is by talking a little bit about uh, relationships. You know, it's really important that moms and dads get to know their kids and know everything about them. You know, this is, this is what's wrong with America today. We need that close relationship. And uh, I have two people over here. Could you both come over here and help me out? And uh, what is your name, young lady? Erin. Erin. Very nice, Erin. And how old are you? Seven. Seven. And, sir, do you know everything about your daughter? <laughs> Probably not as much as I think I do. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're going to see how well you listen at home, okay? Because before the show, we pulled your daughter aside, Erin, and we asked her five questions. Do you want to know why we asked her those five questions? <laughs> I'm a dead man. <laughs> yeah, I... Come over here, sir, if you would, please. Here's what we're going to do. Your first name is? Jay. Jay, I need you to get into this pie pendulum. Now, you put your feet right over there. Whoa. Whoa, Jay. Okay. And I need you to put, there we yeah, go. Your, your face right there. Now, we're going to strap you in so you have no way of getting out, okay? Now, Aaron, you come up here, okay? Now, do you have any reason, do you think, why we call it the pie pendulum, sir? I'm going to tilt right into it. <laughs> yeah, that could happen. And, Aaron, would you like to see your dad get a pie in the face? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Well, let's, 
Let's see what the pie looks like. Bring it over here. This is a little bit larger than normal pie, folks, okay? Now, let me show you how this works. If you answer a question incorrectly, I'm going to turn the crank, okay? One, two, three, four times, okay? Now, I have these questions right over here, and uh, if you can answer the question, you're going to be in great shape. But if you miss three of these, sir, I'm going to turn that crank, and you're going to end up right down here, okay? All right, here's the first question, sir. What TV show does your daughter like the best? Oh, the Cosby Show? The Cosby Show. Why don't you tell him what show you really like to watch a lot? Double Dare. Double Dare, okay. So I guess that means, audience, we get to crank it four times. Count along with me. One, two, three, four. Oh, that's good. Now, we have another question here for you, sir. Um, which pizza topping does your daughter like the best? Cheese. Oh, why don't you tell him what you really like? Cheese. No, it says here, you told me sausage. Sausage. Should we give, should we give your dad that one? Should we just let him go? Two cranks. All right, we'll do one, two. All right. So you're just on the edge, on the cutting edge, sir. You miss one more, you're dead meat, okay? Tell me, what singer does your daughter like the best? MC Hammer. Oh, MC Hammer. And why don't you tell dear old dad what your favorite singer is? Paula Abdul. Paula Abdul. <laughs> so you're having some trouble here knowing a little bit about your daughter, sir, aren't you? We have a few seconds here. Uh, we'd like to know what your daughter's favorite subject in school is. Could you do that? <laughs> Math. No, no, it's recess. And one more. Uh, which of the fall what, what's your daughter's favorite movie? <laughs> It's the rescuers down under. under. Uh, Aaron, come over here if you would, please. Just turn the crank a few times. There we go. Good. That's right. Good. <laughs> oh. no. Now, why don't you get the cream pie out of your eyes for a second, sir? And if, hello. And if you watch the monitor up there, we're going to show you a little replay of, uh, of what just happened to you and, uh, and Aaron here. Okay, can we take a look at that? Here you are, sir, just getting ready to go slowly into the pie, just like that. We had a great time with Aaron and her dad. Hope you enjoyed it. Stick around. We're going to come back to see how our dancers did. And uh, we're over here. We're going to see how our dancers did. And we're going to have our What Would You Do medley. So uh, don't go anywhere. <laughs> with our studio audience at the Nick Studios in Orlando, Florida. And what do you say we bring back our studio audience, Cossack dancers, and here they are! Oh, look at this. Oh, gosh. Right in front. What are they supposed to do here? Oh, so if you go backwards, you land in... Oh, I got this. There are pies here, folks. I'm starting to figure out what's happening. Can't move, Doug, huh? Okay, all set? Can't move. Here we go. Get the music going. And, sir, Doug and Elaine did a magnificent job, as always. If you notice, everybody will turn around except you, sir. Everybody turn around and show the audience uh, the, at home that you're perfectly clean. But wouldn't you know, turn around, sir, the man in the loud shorts <laughs> took it right back over here. And you know what else is nice? He left us some money down here as well. That's really nice. Thank you so much. Hope you had a good time. Off that direction. I ripped your pants? No, I don't think it did. <laughs> that direction. I'm going to round of applause for our What Would You Do dancers. Oh, that was great. We would not like to do our What Would You Do mentally. How many people do we want to pick? We want to pick three people. We have time for three people. Would you like to help me out? What's your name? Stephanie. Stephanie, you go right down over there. There will be a stool for you to sit on in just a second. You can help me out by doing that. And uh, we have a young lady here who's just smiling. What's your name? 
floor. You go right down there as well and uh, have a seat in our second stool. And I need a man. I need a man. Oh, this man right over here. Come on, sir. You come down here. You can you help me out as well. Give them all a round of applause. And he will have a seat right over here. Let me explain what we're doing in case you haven't seen this. This is our What Would You Do Medley. You have a card on your head. You have no idea what it says, but I do. If you choose, you can say, Mark, I will take what's on the card, and I'm going to put a card on my head as well. And you can do whatever is on there. But if you say, Mark, I'm not so sure, I'm very nervous, you'll have to go over here to the pie pot and get hit with four pies, okay? <laughs> so it's a pretty good decision to make. Uh, you can see what everybody else says. Uh, what is your decision? Gonna go for the card? Yeah. Oh, good. Take it off then. And it says you have to do what? Eat ice cream with ketchup. Yes. Do we have some ice cream and ketchup? Here we go. Now give give her the ice. No, I'll tell you what. You hold on the ice cream. I want you to take some ketchup and just pour it right there on the ice cream. Would you do that? No, big gulp, big gulp. Yeah, well, that's good. Right there. All right. And uh, just take a big bite of that ice cream now. Mmm. How was it? Not so good. Do we have a t-shirt for her? Can we give this young lady a t-shirt and a round of applause? And we have this young lady whose name is... Noah. And uh, what are you going to do? The car to go to the pie pot? I'll do it on the car. You know what? I'll take it off then. And it says... It says you have to do peanut butter jumping jacks. Why don't we show her what that is? Come down over here and... Uh, Oh, this is going to be a little disgusting. Can you roll the sleeves up just a teeny bit? Because what we want you to do is put peanut butter underneath your arms and then do jumping jacks. Can you do that? What we want you to do, what we want you to do is take two big bites. Put them under. Okay. Come on, audience, help us Time is running out. Hurry up. Let's go. Big go. Big go. Oh, hold on. You can go to the pie pot if you'd rather. Would you rather go to the pie pot? What do you think? Okay. You're going to go to the pie pot? Okay, let's go. Here we go. Robin, put the smock on her, and as we get her set up, you go over there and put that plastic over, we'll give you some, no, just over here, just right over here. And uh, as we set her up here, we're going to put on some goggles, and we're going to say thank you, audience, for being with us here. How about a round of applause? They did a terrific job today. What was mine? Walk on A. Do I didn't get a chance to do that? Sir, we will have a T-shirt for you. It said paint on beard. You didn't have to do it because you already had a beard on. We're going to crank her up here, and let's make sure that she gets right on target. Audience, when I count to three, how many pies? One, two, three, or four? Yeah, I had a feeling. Okay, I'm going to count to three, and we're going to let those pies go. One, two, three. Here we go. There's one. There's two. There they go. Thanks for being with us today. What would you do? See you soon. Bye-bye. A promotional fee has been paid by Skechers Footwear. Skechers are the coolest shoes around. Sneakers, boots, sandals, and shoes with lights in them called s lights. Skechers are comfortable and fun to wear. Skechers, it's the S. And by Ring Pops, the great-tasting, long-lasting candy that looks as great as it tastes. Lots of outrageous flavors in an awesome ring shape. Ring Pops, great taste never looks so cool. in front of a live studio audience in Nickelodeon Studios at...